In this lesson, I'm going to introduce the Morvers theorem, and I'm going to show you also how to use the Morvers theorem in conjunction with the polar form of a complex number. So we'll start by stating what the Morvers theorem is. So cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of n is equal to cos. So the Morvers theorem states that the n can come down in front of the angle, so it becomes cos n theta plus i sine theta. And theta. Now the proof of this theorem is shown elsewhere in the course under uh, the section called proof by induction. But for now, just let's accept the, the result of, of the Morvers theorem. That is the cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of n is cos n theta plus i sine n theta. And this is a very powerful theorem to be able to use um, in with certain questions. And here's an example again straight away. So an example of where you'd use this. Uh, so the example would be for find three plus four i to the power of ten, for example. Now, uh, let's look at what we know already about about how we might solve this, and we call this plan A. Plan A. There's nothing. Plan A is just really work it out step by step. So it's 3 plus 4i by 3 plus 4i 10 times. So you can imagine that's not really much of a plan at all. We'd be there for a long time trying to multiply that bracket out by itself 10 times. Or worse, if it was to the power of 100 or 20, whatever it is. Uh, so, um, so we can't really use that. So we need something else. Now here's plan B. Plan B, if we convert to the more to polar form, and use the Morvis theorem. And the Morvis theorem, the idea of the Morvis theorem is the power is, as you can see here in the Morvis theorem, the power disappears. It goes in front of the angle. So we we'll use the same logic here. If we can get this in polar form, and then we can make the power disappear and reappear in front of the angle. And that gets rid of this problem of multiplying it out 10 times. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, so the first thing to do again is take three plus four i. So three plus four i um, in polar form. So we'll just call it z. So the first thing to do is convert to polar form. So we've done this before. So just a quick uh, revision of that. So uh, r, the modulus, is the root of three squared plus four squared, which gives us five, and theta. The angle is the inverse ten of b over a, which is in this case the inverse ten of three of four over three, which is fifty three degrees approximately on the calculator. And now we can write, write z in polar form. So z is equal to uh, r. Write on the formula first: cos theta plus i sine theta. And just fill in r and theta now when we have it. So r is 5 and cos, so it's cos 53 degrees plus i sine 53 degrees. And there's your number in polar form. So that's the first step as such. Uh, so that's step one, convert to polar form. Now step two is use the Morvers theorem to, to get rid of the power. So going back to our question. Uh, z is equal to 3 plus 4i to the power of 3 plus 4i, so um, which is in polar form 5 cos 53 plus i sine 53. However, z to the power of 10 is what we're looking for. z to the power of 10 is 3 plus 4i to the power of 10. Well, that's the right hand side there to the power of 10 also. So it's 5 into cos 53 plus i sine 53. And that's to the power of 10. And now on this side, we can just split them up. So we can go 5 to the power of 10 outside the bracket and inside the bracket, it's cos 53 degrees plus i sine 53 degrees 
to the power of 10. And it's at this stage we can use the Mauber's theorem because now it's 5 to the power of 10. Uh, this power here, 10, comes down in front of the angle, so it goes here and here. So if we just uh, rewrite that now, so it becomes the cos of uh, 53. We'll put it in in front first, I suppose. So it's the cos of 10 times 53 plus I sine 10 times 53. And that's 5 to the power of 10, uh, the cos of 530 degrees plus I sine of 530 degrees. And at this stage, the question is finished, really, because we've got rid of the problem that we had. The, pro the big problem was the power, the power of 10. And we've, we've got rid of the power by putting in front of the angle, which we're allowed to do according to the Marvers theorem. And now uh, the rest can be worked out on a calculator. You just type in cos 530 and sine 530 on a calculator, and, and that's the rest of it done. So that's how we use the Marvers theorem to get rid of powers um, in complex numbers.